Kimmel discloses the most devastating aspect of Trump's immunity loss. Late night show Jimmy Kimmel mocked Donald Trump on Tuesday after a federal appeals court decided that he does not enjoy immunity from prosecution for offenses committed while in office. Kind of a bummer, Kimmel remarked. Poor guy drank all that bleach for nothing. Mr. Trump is facing a slew of legal obstacles as he seeks a second term as president, including the possibility of punishment for his attempts to alter the 2020 presidential election results. While the former president claimed presidential immunity protects him from virtually all acts committed while in office, the U.S. Court of Appeals disagree, arguing that any executive immunity that may have protected him while he served as president no longer protects him against this prosecution. Mr. Trump's attorneys are anticipated to immediately appeal the ruling to the full bench of appeals court justices, perhaps all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court. But Mr. Kimmel believes the news would have been devastating for the former president. It was a devastating moment for Trump, he told reporters, especially when Melania started clapping. Following the ruling, Mr. Trump turned to Truth Social to condemn the decision, calling it nation-destroying. A president of the United States must have full immunity in order to properly function and do what has to be done for the good of our country. He stated in the letter, This nation-destroying ruling cannot survive. If not overturned, as it should be, this decision would severely harm not only the presidency, but also the life, breath, and success of our country, he warned. He further stated that without immunity, every president who leaves office will be immediately indicted by the opposing party. Without complete immunity, a president of the United States would be unable to perform properly. He stated, the verdict might also affect Mr. Trump's eligibility to stand on the ballot in numerous states in 2024. In December, the Colorado Supreme Court determined that the former president is unable to run in 2024 because the 14th Amendment's bar on insurrectionists holding office applies to his actions on January 6, 2021, when he attempted to overturn the 2020 election results. Shenna Bellows, Maine's Secretary of State, promptly removed Mr. Trump from the ballot for similar grounds. Maine's Superior Court has so far declined to give a ruling, preferring to await a decision from the U.S. Supreme Court, where judges will rule if he has presidential immunity and can appear on the ballot in Colorado. Other states have declined to rule on the challenge or remove the previous president. Last Monday, the Illinois Board of Elections permitted Mr. Trump to stay on the presidential primary ballot, stating that they did not believe they had the authority to decide his eligibility.